Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Concept Corner, the the show where I give out my random concept for fan fiction ideas that I have come up with in my head. And today, I'm going to come up with tell you about because that sounds like fun. Um, <clears throat> this one is for a star versus the forces of evil fan fiction. This particular idea of mine is going to be a crossover fanfic idea, because I like crossovers a lot, that's kind of my thing. With uh, another one of my favorite television shows of all time, Once Upon a Time. And as you know, I really love that show despite my many, 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 many problems. Um, so, um, this is a fanfic idea I came up with last night, um, kind of just out of the blue when I was on one of my writing highs. It's when I have random ideas in my head and I just kind of all write them down or just try to figure it out. Uh, it gets very headcanony and kind of a alternate universe but, um, I like it, so I'll see what you guys think. So this will take place after Season 2 of Star Wars The Forces of Evil, so Toffee's back, and he has the evil version of the wand, the dark side of the wand. <laughs> Anywho, and Queen Moon needs to, um, figure out what to do with Star. So my idea is... Um, Queen Moon takes Star to the Enchanted Forest, which is another dimension, using the dimension scissors. And, um, she goes to the one person who you go to help when you don't know what to do. And that is Rumpelstiltskin, because that's kind of how the show works. If you have a problem, you go to him. Everybody goes to him. Even the good guys. Good guys, bad guys, doesn't matter. If, he has some, if you have something he wants, he'll help you. Um... So this is where things kind of get a little, uh, hectic, because I'm not quite sure how to execute this plot well. But, um, basically they go to the Enchanted Forest, and it's going to be right around the time the curse is about to be enacted. Like, maybe like a few months, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, but basically, yeah, that, that's one, uh, the curse will be enacted so they can do the story books, so we can have the flashbacks and Enchanted Forest stuff. Um... And then, during that time in the Enchanted Forest, before the curse is enacted, uh, I'm going to have to try to find a way to fit Marco in so he can go into the Enchanted Forest and then get sucked in with the rest of the cursed and the other Enchanted Forest characters. Um, while that's going on, Toffee's on the search for Star, and he is going to, like always, play the long game, be patient about it. Um, obviously, he's going to get his body back, because, you know, he just probably doesn't want to be in Lulu's body all day. Who wouldn't? Um, <laughs> sorry. And uh, I'm going to have this, like, weird relationship between Rumple and Toffee. Because, like, my idea is, like, Toffee's, like, been for centuries manipulating monsters and humans into fighting one another throughout all the various dimensions. Like, he's responsible for the Ogre's War, which, if you're a Once Upon a Time fan, you know that that's what made uh, Rumple the Dark One in the first place. Um, he's going to have this interesting... Um, Toffee's going to have this interesting perspective on Rumple because he's both half-human, half-monster, not, like biologically but just through the magic so he's kind of like trying to get him to embrace his monster half because toffee's idea is he wants to his his end goal is going to be he's going to take rumple's dagger which is like the source of all the dark evil powers he has and his the evil version of the wand and he wants to create a universe where monsters rule and humans are you know slaves um i'm not quite sure how dark i want the intentions to go just yet i'm ironing this stuff out as i talk about it and, you know, there might be, um, I like the idea of, like, Queen Moon and Toffee having, like, this relationship with one another, so that's gonna, um, that's a fan theory I like, so I might do something with that. Um, Starko, obviously, is gonna be a big relationship that I definitely, uh, advocate while I write this, if I write this. Um, and obviously, you know, there's gonna be some interactions between, like, Star and Marco and the Once Upon a Time characters, because, you know, that's what you do in fanfics. Um, I felt like I could do this one better than, um, the Gravity Falls Once Upon a Time crossover idea I posted a while back, because I feel like this just fits better with the whole motif of, you know, fantasy and monsters and di multiple dimensions and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's my basic idea. I'm still working on it, obviously. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, and until next time, bye.